All right, so next I wanted to talk about um, some factors that affect um, the rate at which molecules will move across cell membranes, and I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about filtration and simple diffusion. Okay, but first let's talk about um, factors that affect um, diff you know, the, the, the rate of movement across the membrane, okay, or the rate of diffusion. Okay, so first, one of the factors is uh, temperature. Okay, temperature. All right, as we increase temperature, okay, that e that will equal an increased rate of diffusion. It's going to abbreviate the diffusion. Okay. Now the reason why basically is as temperature goes up, molecular motion goes up as well. So as we raise the temperature. Uh, molecules move around more and will increase the chances of molecules moving through these these gates and channels that we talked about that are within cell membranes, okay? Because you have to remember that molecules are always moving all the time anyway. They contain energy, okay? And, and remember, as we open these gates, molecules bang into these gates and then move through them, okay? Whether it's in or out, okay? So if we increase temperature and we increase the rate that molecules are moving around, we increase the chances of them banging into the gate and then moving it into or out of the cell. Okay, so increase temperature, increase rate of diffusion, and vice versa. As temperature goes down, diffusion rates also go down because there is less molecular motion. Okay, um, another one is, I'm going to abbreviate this, molecular weight. Okay, um, these are also on slide 38 of your PowerPoint. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that a little, uh, a little while ago. Okay, but mole molecular weight. Okay, basically, the larger the the larger the molecule, the larger you know, the, the slower it's gonna move across the cell membrane. Okay. Basically it's gonna take longer, the, the bigger the molecule, the longer it's gonna take to get through that protein gate and get into the cell itself. Okay, but the smaller the molecule, okay, the faster it's going to be able to just get right through that gate into or out of the cell. Alright? So temperature, molecular weight, um, the steepness of the concentration gradient. Okay, so what we're saying, remember, remember, a concentration gradient is just the difference in the amount of a of an ion or a molecule on both sides of the cell membrane. Okay, so if we draw a cell here, all right, and let's say there are, let's use the previous example, 150 sodium ions on, in the extracellular fluid, all right and five sodium ions on the inside in this cell. All right, let's draw another cell here. All right, and let's say there are 150 sodium ions on the outside of this one, but there are 100 sodium ions on the inside. Okay, we'll call this cell A, we'll call this cell B. Okay, which one, take a second to think about this for a second, which one has the steeper concentration gradient? A, if you're thinking A, you're thinking correct because there's a bigger difference in the amount of sodium across the cell membrane. So that's going to create a much more rapid movement of sodium down its concentration gradient. Okay, versus cell B, where there's um, where there's a where there's a much smaller difference between the two, that'll make for a lot less of the rapid movement. Okay, um, so the steepness of the concentration gradient, basically again, just the difference between the numbers on both sides of the cell membrane. Okay, the another factor that plays into diffusion is the membrane. I'm going to abbreviate this surface area. Okay, the membrane surface area. Okay, membrane surface area. Basically, the larger the surface area, okay, the larger the surface area, the faster the rate of diffusion. Okay, the faster the rate of diffusion. So let's say we have this cell here and we have this cell here. Okay. This cell has a smaller surface area. It's going to take longer for, for molecules to kind of get into these gates and get into or out of the cell. Okay. Whereas with this, this is a bigger cell. There's more room for more gates. Okay. So therefore, more sodium ions could potentially be moving into or out of the cell depending on the concentration gradient. Okay, so the larger the surface area, the faster the movement, the faster the rate of diffusion. Okay, membrane permeability. And remember, we said, a little, we said in the previous video that membrane permeability depends on basically 
how many of these gates are there in the um, are there in the cell membrane? Okay, so let's say in cell A. Okay, let's say all of these are sodium gates. Then you've got cell B. Okay, and let's say in both cells we open. Let's say the concentration gradients are the same now. Okay, let's say they're both the same for the sake of this discussion. And let's say we open all of the gates at the same time. Which one is going to have a faster rate of diffusion? Yep, cell A is going to have a faster rate of diffusion because there is more openings for sodium to potentially get into the cell through versus this one that only has three gates, okay? And again, we said, we said that cells adjust their permeability all the time. Cells can crank out more proteins. Uh, that act as gates and put them in this plasma membrane, membrane, sorry, and cells can also strip away these protein gates, and, you know, depending on the needs of the cell and the environment the cell is exposed to. Okay, um, so basically these are all the major factors that influence, uh, you know, that, that help us influence the rate of um, diffusion or movement.